plant-based diet is exploding in popularity these days. Actor Kevin Hart recently opening up a 100% plant-based restaurant in Los Angeles. And Kim Kardashian swears following that diet to ease her cirrhosis symptoms. Yeah, but going plant-based isn't easy, and it could leave you with some serious nutrition gaps if you don't do it right. So joining us now with her tips to safely transition to a plant-based Eating plan, I like the way that sounds, is a registered dietitian, Carolina Snyder. Thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. All right, so let's first just jump in. Do you actually follow a plant based eating plan? I'm going to say eating plan instead of diet, and for how long have you been doing this? Yes, yeah, so I've actually been following a plant based, fully vegan diet for about 10 years. And it's a funny story. I started in college. I was studying journalism, actually. And my roommate at the time was vegan, which was quite unusual at that time. It wasn't very popular. But because we had to coexist and eat all of our meals together, I ended up eating all of her meals because they were so <laughs> delicious. So it worked out. I noticed great benefits to my skin and digestion. And that's really what got me interested in transition fully. So I feel like people have been on and off and on and off about it for a while. What do you think is really prompting people at this point to switch to a plant-based diet these days? So there's a few reasons. The most common one that I see, you know, as a, a dietitian working with individuals is that people are realizing the foods they're eating are making them sick. Yeah. So people are noticing there is a relationship between the foods that we eat and our health. Um, another big reason is the environment. So a plant-based diet is more environmentally friendly. So those who love uh, Mother Earth, they are trying to be more conscious about you know their impacts. And then the third reason I would say is just so much more convenient to be plant-based nowadays. It's just so much easier than when I went plant-based. So yeah. I think it's just more accessible. So are there any potential risks to being on this type of diet, plant-based? Absolutely. And for as much as I want to say, you know, you can get all your nutrients from food. That's what I first believed in. I noticed myself from experience that I experienced nutrient gaps, even though I was eating a great diet. So a few things that people may experience is energy depletion. They can have cardiovascular complications, um, weaken the immune system and bone loss. So um, we really want to be careful with those. Uh, let's talk about how you make up for that because there are ways to make up for what you're losing if you go plant-based. Um, how can you go about doing that? Is it simply supplements or is it the different foods that you, you add in? So I definitely want to emphasize that you want to eat a variety of foods and a complete diet. And you want to do that with the help of a dietitian if you are transitioning, but supplements play a huge role. So there are four in particular that I like to recommend to people. So first is vitamin B12, which is pretty popular. Vitamin B12 helps you um, with energy production. And on a regular diet, you would have to eat about six eggs per day to get your needs. But on on a vegan diet, you can't get it from anywhere. So supplements are pretty crucial there. Um, another one I love, it's aged garlic extract. So this supplement has been found to help with your heart health. So it's been shown to lower blood pressure and blood cholesterol and you no know, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in the world. So for everyone really it could be beneficial. Um, I have here 28 cloves of garlic to show you this is how much you would have to eat to get the same benefits that you can get in a supplement. So I'm not saying don't eat garlic. I love cooking with garlic. It's so beneficial, but you would have to eat a lot of it and probably your partner would love your breath after that. <laughs> you, so, you have to lock um, yourself into a room and not see anybody. <laughs> you not would ward off the vampires mm. though, so you'd be all right. Ex <laughs> there you go. I love that point of view. So I personally love the Kyolic Aged Garlic Extract. It's a vegan formula, and it's important to emphasize that not all supplements are vegan. Yeah. So you want to look for the labels because a lot of the, the supplements out there have animal products. So at least you're you know supporting our health, heart health, and you're not compromising your veganism. Um, two other important supplements are calcium. So calcium is important for your bone health. And you would actually have to eat about 10 cups of leafy greens, such as kale and spinach, to meet your bare minimum. So although you can get it in a diet, in a plant-based diet, you know, it's hard to. So it's very safe to supplement. It's more effective. And then finally, we have vitamin D, which you can get from sun exposure, but we all know sun exposure mm -hmm. may be linked to um, skin cancer. So 
vitamin D is one that's very important. It's not readily available in foods, and you would have to consume about six cups of a fortified plant milk or cow's milk to meet your bare minimum as well. It's good, just like supplementing any other yeah. diet with some vitamins and everything. All right, so how can people go and follow you? Where can we find you and learn more about uh, plant-based diets? Yeah, so I am on Instagram as Carolina the Green RD. I also wrote a blog about these four supplements if people want to learn more. My website is hungryforplants.com. <laughs> and then if they want to learn more about the how to wear, take away the vampires, um, they can go to Kyolic. This is K Y O L I C dot com to learn more about the supplement. Great. Carolina, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having All me. All right, take care.